Beyond the Woods um, is the Nerdy Kid Productions' uh, first feature film. We shot in uh, Kamloops, BC, in Canada, which is a tough location. It definitely was a big challenge, but um, we were prepared. Um, we were basically practicing for it all our lives, right? So we're doing short films, episodics, music videos. Um, everything was, was really um, in, in film. So, so it was really re rewarding to actually, to actually do it and um, have an amazing team. Shooting out on location uh, in the middle of winter time in February where it's snowing and you're in, in outdoors all day is very logistically tough and it was a hard shoot, um, you can't. I've heard people like, oh, I wanna get shots like this and that and that, and people don't realize you have to drive miles and kilometers away just to get that, and you have to put in extra hours of the day to get to your locations and the remotes, and there was no service, and things were like, it was a small community, so things were closing, and you, you don't have the luxury of uh, going outside and grabbing a coffee right away or uh, going to a warm, uh, bed right away and it was that was that was the hardest was kind of being out on location in this atmosphere that you're filming in and not leaving like you would an office per se after a day of work you're still living in that same atmosphere and that was that was the toughest part for sure. I think Brayden worked really hard on it um, and later I'm so glad we had on board Jeff and Steven who um, helped and kind of pointed him in a good direction of dialogue, which, yeah, also Stephen really, really helped with. And um, I think when, once we locked the script, it was just a joy to really like just do it. And as, as um, everyone's mentioned, like every day was a really, like we were shooting really cool scenes and it just looked really appealing and the cinematography is amazing. Me and Britain has been working together for the past four or five years, and um, he actually talked about this project about a, a year before the production, and kind of we kind of talked about the story, and I was uh, very interested in the, the whole psychological um, and family theme story, and then, um, and then we'll talk about shooting in the snow, which is very exciting. Um, I was always, wanting to shoot in um, some beautiful BC locations in the snow. And um, I think everything just came at the right time. I've always wanted to work on a film out in the wilderness, you know? Uh, I've always looked at films like Into the Wild and The Revenant and thought, God, that's just my element, you know? Like I would love to be faced with Mother Nature. I really, I really think Beyond the Woods is a great film, which, which will make people think as as uh, Brayden really wanted it to happen. We were always finding things in the material, and it was just a constant state of discovery, like working with Brayden. And it, it was, I love that. Like I love, like just I don't know where it's gonna go, and I'm gonna have a blast getting there. And that's what it was like day after day. You know, despite the elements, despite everything else, it was just that constant pl place of discovery that I enjoyed most. I really wanted to find a creative story and be able to tell it in a way that was visually appealing to people and, and, and make this ensemble um, something that is different and unique to what's being made these days and kind of put my stamp out there as a director. I mean, I really enjoyed getting a chance to work with Braden again and getting to work with Nina and um, uh, getting to know Zach better and, uh, and working with, uh, with Steve as well. Um, Steve is, Steve's an actor that uh, I've, I've you know, looked up to for a long time and, and, uh, and we've been friends for a long time and it was, it was a really cool opportunity. I loved it and I love being on set and being collaborating with Steven and, and Jeff and we got along behind the camera and in, in front of the camera and sometimes too much behind the camera. <laughs> Had the giggles a few times, but that's, that's, what, that's what making movies is all about, is having fun and finding a film family to do this with. And, and if you're not having fun, I don't think there, there's no point in doing it. And um, every day I had a blast. I never felt like I was working. There was, 
the ups and downs for sure that come with every film production. Um, it's never a walk in the park for sure, but uh, I think the worst, the worst day on set is better than any other day off set for me, so I just had a blast. When I saw some of the dailies and some of the shots that Zach had come up with and, and Braden had planned together, um, and how hard the crew especially worked, um, it made my job absolutely easy. Uh, and uh, it, it, it was, you know, there were, you know, like we worked pretty closely together and, and there were times where he'd be like, yeah, I'm sorry I made you do that. And I'm just like, no, just bring it on. Like this is, this is what I do. And, and I really want to push the envelope. And, and, uh, and yeah, I had, I had a blast like um, over the experience. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm going to know these people and, and be a part of this project for, you know, a long time to come. It was my first feature and I'm super grateful and happy about the opportunity I had. Not a lot of people, even if they have the same dreams and aspirations as I do, they don't have the opportunity to make a feature at all. So I, I know that I'm very lucky and grateful to have that opportunity and I'm glad I took the opportunity. Um, and I'm so grateful for the team I had to do it with and, and Zach and, and Nina and Steven and Jeff and <laughs> all these people who made this film an amazing thing. So during the during during the prep um, with me and Braden talk about shots, we did a lot of uh, we, we're planning to shoot a lot of um, um, sort of like wonder for each scene, and there's a lot of movements in in one shot, um, which is pretty cool, I think. And then the whole the whole story is not the pace is not so fast; it's very um, kind of slow, and we kind of just focus on the story then the shots, which I think um, it's a very important um, and unique way to, to, to make a project. Um, and me and Brayden are trying to um, make it sort of unique from uh, most of the, the movies in North America, the way they shoot it. Um, I think that's, uh, that's the main motivation of us to, to make this movie this way. Um, we had a lot of uh, either dolly or static cam shots for um, for a, like a like a four minute five minutes take for each shot and uh, we and that requires a lot of um, rehearsal and uh, the technical prep for for it to happen and um, I think that we, we did it I think what I liked most about the story is the fact that I just could never, when I was reading it, I couldn't tell where it was going to go next. And with the amount of, uh, uh, you know, just a, of projects everywhere and, uh, you know, just, you know, I mean, TV series and movies constantly, like, it, it's just so easy to tell where it's going to go. And with this, I didn't know because, you know, one minute it was all about grief and, and that need for connection and the next minute you know you're like in the backwoods and you know running for your life so it was I, I didn't really know I couldn't really put my finger on at all where it was going and that's what really inspired me about the film and I felt that Braden had a way of directing where he always kept you guessing like you didn't really know what was gonna happen next and that that to me is like a an incredible trait to a new director. I think grief is very uncomfortable it's like a very uncomfortable topic to chat about and even film it's very uncomfortable it's very it's almost taboo in a way where people don't know how to handle that and if, if a lot of the time you see grief in media as so over the top tears and, and crying and it's it's not like that all the time and there's different ways of handling it and going through grief and um, something that really captivates me with psychological thrillers or psychological anything is is how people react in human nature and making not only your characters portray something but making your audience feel a certain way and so my goal for for beyond the woods really is to make people's perspective change of things and make the audience feel something maybe they wouldn't feel if they didn't watch the film and so grief is a really great topic to do that with I just want to take a take the chance to thank all my crew and uh, and all the people who help um, along the way uh, to make this happen and I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you very much. You just gotta see how lucky you are sometimes to be able to do what you love to do with the people you love doing it with and I'm just very grateful for that.